Imagine a single flower, a poppy perhaps, unfurling its scarlet petals to greet the morning sun. Simple, delicate, yet within its fragile beauty lies a profound truth. This flower, a seemingly insignificant bloom, embodies the entire cosmos. The poppy's petals, vibrant with color, owe their existence to sunlight, born from the heart of a distant star. Rain, drawn from the vast ocean, nourishes its roots, connecting the flower to the sky above and the earth below. Countless insects, drawn by the poppy's sweet nectar, play their part in its life cycle, ensuring its continued existence. The flower, in its entirety, is a symphony of interconnectedness. It is a testament to the intricate web of life, a tapestry woven from the threads of countless beings, elements, and forces. This simple truth, often overlooked, holds the key to understanding the profound concept of emptiness. Emptiness, in the context of interbeing, does not signify nothingness. It is not a void, but rather a fullness, an absence of a fixed, independent self. Just as the flower cannot exist in isolation, separate from the sun, the rain, or the soil, so too are we not separate entities. We often perceive ourselves as independent beings, separate from the world around us. Yet, upon closer examination, this perception crumbles. Our bodies, built from the elements of the earth, are fueled by the air we breathe, the water we drink, and the food we consume. Our thoughts, emotions, and experiences are shaped by countless interactions, by the people we encounter, the stories we hear, and the environments we inhabit. We are not isolated islands, but rather integral parts of a vast and interconnected web of life. This interconnectedness, this profound realization that we are not separate from the world around us, is what Thich Nhat Hanh, the renowned Vietnamese Buddhist monk, termed interbeing. Just as the flower is inextricably linked to the sun, the rain, and the soil, so too are we interconnected with all beings. Our actions, no matter how small, ripple outwards, impacting the lives of others and the world around us. A kind word, a helping hand, a smile. These seemingly insignificant gestures have the power to brighten someone's day, to create a ripple effect of positivity. Conversely, negativity, anger, and hatred also have their consequences. They create disharmony, suffering, and separation, reminding us of the interconnected nature of our existence and the importance of cultivating compassion and understanding. Examples of interbeing abound in the natural world. Consider the intricate dance between bees and flowers. Bees, drawn to the sweet nectar of blossoms, inadvertently collect pollen on their fuzzy bodies. As they flit from flower to flower, they facilitate pollination, enabling plants to reproduce and bear fruit. This symbiotic relationship, this intricate dance of interdependence, highlights the interconnectedness of all living things. We see it in the predator-prey relationship, the delicate balance of ecosystems, and the intricate web of life that sustains our planet. But interbeing is not confined to the natural world. It is woven into the very fabric of our daily lives. The food we eat, the clothes we wear, the technology we use, all are the result of countless individuals working together, each playing their part in a complex global network. The realization of interbeing is not merely an intellectual exercise, it is a profound shift in perspective, a recognition of our interconnectedness with all beings. It is a call to action, an invitation to live our lives with greater awareness, compassion, and responsibility. When we truly understand interbeing, we begin to see ourselves in others. We recognize that their suffering is our suffering, their joy is our joy. We're inspired to act with greater kindness, understanding, and compassion, knowing that our actions have far-reaching consequences. Embracing interbeing is to embrace our true nature, to recognize that we are not separate, isolated entities, but rather integral parts of a vast and interconnected web of life. It is to live with a sense of awe and wonder at the intricate beauty of the cosmos and our place within it. Imagine a world where everyone lived with the understanding of interbeing, a world where our actions were guided by compassion, 
where we recognize the interconnectedness of all beings and acted accordingly. This is not a utopian dream, but a possible future, a future we can create together. By cultivating awareness of our interconnectedness, by practicing compassion and understanding in our daily lives, we can contribute to the creation of a more just, equitable and sustainable world. We can begin to heal the divisions that separate us, to bridge the gaps between cultures and to create a world where all beings can thrive. In the words of the Buddha, if you truly loved yourself, you would never hurt another. If you're still here, hit that subscribe and like button. It's a small gesture with a big impact.